All right, we're here today at Benton Crossing Road, AKA Green Church Road, AKA my sanctuary. Uh, this is where we do a lot of our work here in Mammoth, and I don't know, as you can tell with the scenery and everything, it's just beautiful. So what do we got today, Coach? Well, Ryan, we're sitting here at about 7,000 feet altitude. I think today is a good acceleration development type of workout day. We're getting a nice wind for you, so I think we're gonna get you to run fast. So the goal of today is to do basically some 50 meter sprints. We're gonna tweak it a little bit today by doing some variable starts. So we're gonna start you off with a jog in to that 50 meter sprint. The goal of this workout is really working on getting that good turnover going, really being fast with those feet and, and uh, basically looking to speed up ground contact time so you're on the ground as short as you can, really to get that pace moving so that when you come to run the marathon, you're gonna be nowhere near maximal speed. All right, so right? that's good. So let's start out a little bit back. And basically, once you hit here, you're gonna be running as hard as you can to accelerate through to that 50 meters. All right, you ready? All right, let's go. All right, knees up, quick feet. Up, 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 all the way. So basic game plan with doing sprints like these, we typically do three or four sets of three by 50 meter sprints. Really work on maximal speed, but it's not a lot of total volume. No more than probably three to 400 meters of total sprinting volume in the workout. Nice job, Rye. Great, how did that one feel? Felt good, just getting going a little bit. What do we got next? Not too bad, all right. So that's the easiest one. Basically, we're gonna keep amping up the difficulty of the challenge of, of the start, because what we're looking for is really recruiting that central nervous system. So what we're gonna do here is start you with just a normal standing start. So it's a lot harder because you're basically overcoming inertia, starting at zero velocity, and trying to amp it up as fast as you can. Right. So what we'll do is I'll, we'll just go ready, set, on go, you go. Got it? Yep. All right, so get a nice little longer stance, good push on that front leg. Ready, set, go! What's really important whenever we're doing sprinting is obviously we're working on the acceleration phase, but once you hit that 50 meters, it's really important to do a deceleration phase because decelerating out of the sprint is really important so that we're not causing a lot of joint stress on those knees and hips and ankles, that the body kind of gradually warms down on its own without just jamming on the brakes. Nice job, how was that? It was good, it felt like it uh, made me kind of fire my muscles a little bit more than the last one we ran right. into. Right, felt a little bit harder than the last time? Yeah, it was a little tougher. A little tougher? Yeah. Okay, so hey, I noticed you kind of started uh, with that left foot forward, right? So that's probably your normal kind of dominant right side. So what we're gonna do is make you start with the right foot forward this time. Okay. So it's gonna be a little bit of a, a motor challenge to you because coordination wise, you're used to starting that way. So by challenging it just a little bit, it makes the difficulty go up. So let's yeah. get that right leg forward on this one. Same idea. So where's that left arm gonna be? Uh, uh, yeah, back. exactly. <laughs> that's why we do the challenge. So yeah. actually left arm's gonna be in front, right yeah. arm in back. All right, same idea, ready, set, go, okay? Yep. Ready? Set, go! <laughs> so it seemed like a little bit difficult getting off the line. Yeah, it feels like you know, not my usual for sure is recruiting some different muscles. Exactly, it's just coordination, so kind of yeah. challenging that system. All right, we're gonna tweak it one more time here and make it a little bit more difficult. And we're gonna start you with going backwards, actually. Okay. So you're not gonna see the start, so you're gonna to have to get a visual new sense as you go. Really challenges the system, all right? All right. All right, so you're gonna start backwards on the starting line. All right, you're gonna turn whichever way feels comfortable. Okay. All right, same idea, ready, set, go, all right? Yep. Ready, set, go! All right, good job. So that really wasn't your last one. I'm gonna keep going at you. <laughs> right. So we're gonna throw a little loop for you this time. We're gonna start you on the ground, on your stomach, right. right? So basic deal going on is you got nothing to contact, so you gotta scramble and get up as fast as you can and then sprint down that road. Right. So we call this the scramble start. Cool. All right, so drop and hit the ground. Same idea, we're gonna do a ready, set, go, okay? Ready, set, go! Come on, up, 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 up! Hey, that wasn't too bad for a marathoner. <laughs> yeah, I'm not usually on the ground too much. Looks like you practiced that. Maybe do a little <laughs> basketball or baseball. There you go, the youth uh, athletic ability. There you go, back. I mean, being a good athlete is really important part of being a good marathoner. So great job with those sprints today. Thanks.